Wow, 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 wow. Oh, my shirt's inside out, sorry. I was outside, it's hot out there, okay? I thought you were in a hotel elsewhere delayed. Elsewhere delayed? What? I thought you were in a hotel elsewhere delayed. Okay. Um, yeah, I just I just bought a flight back earlier today since there was no reason for me to be in Philadelphia for no reason. Second wide angle looks cool, does it? Man, there's been a lot of stuff going on, guys. What's happening? Why weren't you at the place debating in person? Uh, I had a flight, my first flight was to, well, my first flight was to Philadelphia, then my second flight was from Philly to SCE. And that flight uh, was landed like 40 minutes late. And then I missed my connecting flight, so I was just stuck in Philadelphia. I was gonna rent a car, but apparently Philadelphia has no cars to rent, because I, th I theoretically could have made the drive. Ha, I definitely could have made the drive. But there were literally no cars in the entire f***ing airport. So I decided to just set up in the um, hotel room and iPad it. And just stay in Philadelphia overnight. So great. What is SCE? Um, SEC, I think. Uh, I think it's like a... It's State College something? It's, a, it's the airport for Penn State, or it's the one near Penn State. Did you know that Iran attacked Israel? Yeah, I heard that. Damn, we got a lot of new emotes in chat. What the f***? That guy you debated yesterday was trash. Um, I mean, yeah, it's, it's the Trumples. What are you going to do? Not just funny games. Politics edges deeper into live streams. We got to keep tagging uh, journalists. People that do puff pieces for Hassan need to keep getting tagged with those clips. We got like a little Mediate article yesterday, I think. Do you prefer back and forth debates or that more structured Q&A with time slots like yesterday? I think that the having like five or 10 minute opening statements or whatever is okay, but only if I'm debating like real human beings, um, not Trumples, not, not MAGA people. I, I wouldn't have agreed to that format. I would have asked for a format change if I would have known. Um, I, I just, I don't even know if I check. I thought that modern day debate was the only guy that did like these like 50,000 minute opening statement things. I didn't, I wasn't even aware that it was possible. So he might've sent me the format. I just didn't check. The Q&A fucked you hard. They mostly asked Doyle questions and gave you barely any time to respond. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't get a... I, I should have had, like, a right to respond for um, every question and answer. I thought that was kind of weird that I didn't get that, considering it was just all his fan. Especially because some of the people in the audience, you could tell, were preloaded with questions to make him sound good, right? It was weird with you being afar, too. It didn't sound like you could hear the audience much. Oh, no, I couldn't hear any audience noise at all. It was kind of annoying, yeah. Bro, I've said this before, and nobody, people kind of corrected me, but not really. Nobody strongly corrected me in an email. Um, people always say that if you want to write very quickly to drives, that you have to get like an M2 drive or an SSD. And my answer used to always be, they don't really write that much faster. The big benefit of solid state, uh, solid state storage is the, uh, you can access any part of the drive very, very, very quickly, or random parts of the drive. It doesn't have to be like sequentially read or written to. That was like the big advantage of that. And I've said that for a long time and nobody corrects me that much. And then um, I've been trying to find things because now I'm, for these cameras to like record at certain mediums at like certain speeds, you need a lot of write speed. And so I stuck, um, the, you have these things, they're like uh, portable NVAME drives. And you can plug these into the camera and write. And I tried it. I was like, oh, let's see. I've got an old, like, one terabyte one. And then I tried it. And I was like, oh, okay. Not really that good. This is about what I remember. You know, they're okay. This is a 960 Pro. I think it writes at, like, maybe... Is it is it five or 600 megabytes a second? I'd have to check. But I was like, oh, yeah, about what I remember. But then I was curious. And I looked up newer drives. And I was like, have they really gotten that much faster? These guys... These guys write at like five, six thousand megabytes per second. Holy shit. These things are crazy. Every time Doyle tried to make a jab about you having to phone in. Oh, I didn't even, I couldn't even barely hear it. It was crazy when he wanted to admit the DOJ, or he, when he admitted that he wanted the DOJ to go after disloyal Republicans. Yeah, I mean. It just, none of them care, yeah.
The 960 should be 3,500 megabits per se megabytes per second. Wait, are you sure? Uh oh. Well, I guess we'll find out. Wait, I hope that's not true. Because that means something's wrong with the USB C recordings on these. You think he's making half as much as Tim does from Russia? Um, I don't know. Oh, first, hold on. I got Max want to try for the uh, election stream. What was the Assange White House drama? Um, oh, the drama from a year ago? I think when I said that initially, I think that we already, um, I think everything already basically came out, that like basically everybody was failing the like uh, media test. That was, a, that was about it. I think initially I'd heard that Hassan had failed it hard, and then I'd heard from other people that everybody failed it hard, and then I'd heard from everybody that was just to it. So yeah, I don't think there's anything like juicy to come out of that. What is the test? Oh, just go going through social media to make sure everything is kosher. I love how he wants America to go back to its origins. What? So here's something that I thought about a lot about that debate. I had a strategy going into that debate that I really wanted to utilize that I wasn't able to. Um, and that's just like forcing Trumples to um, like, hey, I need you to admit that like, for instance, the difference in response to disasters I couldn't do it in this debate because it was like 20 minutes back and forth. But I want somebody to say, hey, I need you to admit that this quote is real. That, um... Fuck, what was this guy's name? I don't know. Is it Roy Collins? Is that the guy in... No, 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 it's not Roy Collins. It's something Roy. Um... Oh, fuck, did I get the name wrong in the debate? North Carolina governor. Roy Cooper. Sorry. Who's Roy Collins? Nobody corrected me? Did he correct me and I just didn't hear it? Sorry, Roy Cooper. Um, but he, the guy said, like, Biden called me. Um, like, we have everything, you know, the federal government can provide. Now it's just a matter of getting everything out to people. Like, that's it. Brian Kemp said that too. He sure did. Um, and DeSantis. DeSantis, Kemp, and Cooper have all said that they're happy. Uh, meanwhile, compare that to DeSantis in California when Trump was literally threatening. Uh, well, he actually, they stopped aid to uh, California for, I think, two days. And then the public backlash and probably administration backlash was so great that he was like, okay, fuck it. We'll, we'll, know, we'll redo it. Um, and then, um, yeah, that's just, that's unhinged. That, that Republicans are trying to pretend like uh, like Democrats don't give aid to people. It's so stupid. Is there a point at which we just abandon the pomp and circumstance of debate and just say Trump committed an act of treason? He should be ineligible to hold office on repeat? Uh, we did do that. We did do that. Why am I retarded? We did do that. We did that after the Civil War, okay? After the Civil War, we felt it was so important not to have somebody like that in office, we put it in the fucking Constitution. But the Supreme Court decided that that doesn't count anymore, so... We're done with that argument, all right? We don't have that. We don't talk about that anymore. But yes, we did We did decide that at one point in time, that having people that were actually treasonous traitors don't get to run for office again if they were prior office holders. And the Supreme Court was like, okay, but really though? Like really, really? Were you surprised you went full Nazi talking about bloodlines and the Nordic race and stuff? <laughs> I have so many talking points that I want to start getting through in debates. I've just I've thought so much about, and now I know more. The immigration talking point is something I'm going to hammer into every single one of these racist fucking losers' heads every single time I see them. Especially, and there's nothing worse also than a, than a, there's nothing worse than a guy who talks about genetic reality who comes from bad genetic stock. Like, if Einstein was out here saying, I think Haitians are stupid, okay, and I don't trust them, it's like, okay, well, fuck. That's pretty bad, but it's fucking Einstein, okay? Why is it always these fucking losers that are just, like, failed online rejects that are talking about, like, the supremacy of their genetic stock? Like, where? show me, bro. Where? where? How, how am I supposed to see this? What's the phenotype that we're looking at right now, right? The, the genetic stock that you come from is the online debater loser phenotype? Really? It's wild to me. 
You calling Trump Zoggy? Oh, I'll always do that in front of, um, in front of the fashy audiences as well. Yeah, hell yeah, Trump is super Israeli controlled. APAC money, simps for Israel, assassinated an enemy of Israel. Remember, gripers and the alt-right and the far right all think that the only reason we went to Iraq was because uh, Israel wanted us to kill Saddam Hussein. What about Soleimani? You don't think Israel has a vested interest in stopping Iranian-backed proxies? Stupid. It's stupid. Oh, anyway, the, um, the thing that I was saying, though, is... Wait, did you notice that when he was talk going on a spiel about theater kids getting into politics, he accidentally ended up describing himself, suit-wearing, zero substance? Um, no, the theater kids was a dog whistle for something, but I don't even remember what it was. Something that I think I need to do... How old is this guy? I feel like I need to... I feel like I want to talk to adults, which is a weird thing to say now that I'm 35, but, um... Or, or, or people that are like real human. Oh, he's 24? I, I think it's harder to talk about like what is America? What does America stand for? What does America do? What, what, you know, what should we be? It's hard to have that conversation with, with a child who has no concept. Like, why, like I wouldn't talk to a 19 or 20 year old Antifa commie kid who wants to tell me about how, you know, capitalism should be abolished, because you're a child. You, no offense, you, you're just a child, right? You believe some wild shit, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But why should I take seriously some like 24 year old, you know, Fuentes wannabe who's, has no concept of what this country is or, or what it can do or has any strong ideas or vision for the country at all. It's just like, yeah, it's dumb. I don't know. Axe wound is another dog whistle for transphobia. Wh oh, really? Ripcord 69? D describing a, a neo vagina or whatever is an axe wound. That's a dog whistle. Oh, I didn't know that. Thanks. How was your audio the best there? Um, I mean, it was just piped through the iPad, right? What a pussy, oh. <laughs> Donut operator, easily one of the most disgusting fucking people. Pimping out family members online like he did to his poor mother, I think is worse than fucking your, fucking your parents or your siblings. How gross, ugh, actually disgusting. Okay, what are we doing? React to your dono. Oh fuck, I can't even see them on the screen. Um, hold on. I can see them. I know where I can see them. Have another visit. The fireworks are incredible this time. Oh, what's up, Nimrod? That guy came off as deeply unserious. Like the kind of people used to argue with in 2017 who ran it for the memes. Are these actual serious Trump spokespeople now or was he just some random dude? Um, I mean, he's uh, he's just a, he's like a ex griper or whatever. But, but these are the, this is the average Trumple now. That you can't be a serious defender of Donald Trump, right? Like, how do you... How happy are you that, you that you decided to make a studio in the building you live in instead of some random place you have to drive to every day? Yeah, fuck that. Fuck driving somewhere. Okay. I hope to use these in the election stream. Uh, I got portable mics for people that are supposed to be pretty good. Not that you're up to date, but what do you think about Hassan already calling the attack on Israel today as Iranian retaliation? Uh, par for the course. I don't know if it's, maybe Hassan is like ready to retire and he's trying to crash out hard or something, but I, there should absolutely be people that are spamming the fuck out of every single crazy clip um, that comes out of this dude's mouth. It's, 
It's actually insane. I realized that the same thing that the Trumples did, the same thing that the Trumples did to the media with that whole Trump derangement syndrome is the same thing that lefties try to do to me in regards to Hassan. The whole like, oh, you're obsessed, so you can't talk about him. Um, if Hassan was anybody else and we didn't have a personal relationship, I would be talking about him so much more because it is actually crazy that Amazon owned Twitch.tv's largest political content creator who has sole reign over that platform because there are no other political opinions on Twitch besides his own is allowed to spew terrorist propaganda. Like that's insane to me. Like if, if Twitch would have existed 10 years ago, would Hassan be like watching ISIS music videos on stream and like dancing along to it? it would, is that what he would be showing his friends and saying like, well, ISIS, you know, is trying to resist uh, you know, the US presence in the Middle East, they only exist because of Obama, right? Uh, it's actually fucking insane. React to this, he now denies all rapes on October 7th. Yeah, that's old news. That's because Ryan Grimm and uh, those two other hack journalists did that one thing saying that the New York Times lied about systematic rape. So they basically say they're like, well, maybe one person got raped, but there was no other collection of rapes or whatever, right? How the fuck do you open this? What the fuck is this thing? No? Oh, it's this up here. Ah, cute. Okay. Clancy's not even like a radicalist supporter. He's just, the problem is they're all just kind of like, I don't want to say politically retarded, because I don't expect the average person to know anything about politics, but. Yeah, I don't know, bro. It's insane. I need, uh, I need advice on political activism. We're dealing with the same, if not worse, election shit in my country, and I'm legit lost as to what to do. The overtone was very to the right, and the left does not exist, and it's busy protecting, protesting against Israel. Um... Yeah, I don't know, dude. The pro the issue is like, there are so many issues. Um, read chat, multiple people saying Hassan had to warn his chat to turn down the rhetoric. Sounds like he was warned. Yeah, but that just makes me even more upset because it means Twitch is aware that he's supporting terrorists and murdering Jews and shit on his stream. But uh, he just got a warning for it. That's fucking unhinged. That's wild. That's fucking wild to me. Like, Hassan is basically on stream every day, okay, saying, the genociding needs to stop. And if that means giving a bunch of Islamist, fundamentalist extremists rockets and missiles and rapes, then they have my blessing. Except he's doing it unironically every single stream. But he's also happy too. Like, you know that like, this is another thing. God, I'm so glad I'm not Jewish. I'm so glad every day that I'm not Jewish. I'm so glad. I'm so glad I'm not Jewish. Because I would, I, would, I would be so mindfucked if I was Jewish. Um, you can tell when these people talk about events how mad they are. Like if a hostage is rescued or freed, they're like fucking seething. They're so fucking mad. Like, oh, fuck. This fucking Jew got out of the fucking camps. Fuck. They're so mad about it. And then like whenever there's an attack and Jews die, it's like... <laughs> What do you think resistance looked like, chief? Huh? What? Are you mad because the Goyim's finally getting his? Uh? Yeah? What do you think it was going to be like, Mr. Terrorist Jew guy? Like, they're so mad. You can see how fucking ass mad they are. Uh, every time something good happens to the Jewish people, or the, the Jewish people, right? Or, and, and then every time something bad happens, they're like fucking celebrating. It's insane. It's insane. They had a pin post in chat. Do not fed post in chat. You know what they were typing. Washed is the same. Because it reminds people no fed posting. Sure. He sounded so sad today when he heard the attack is already over. Yeah, probably. God, he's such a fucking loser too. Ugh.
God. Ugh. The champagne socialist incarnate. 2.2 watts. That's how fast this fucking thing charges, really? Oh, it's already full battery in her one, okay. Let's see, what is this? Oh shit, this has to be charged too. Oh, that's fuck that's actually really annoying. Will you be streaming the Walls Vance debate? Um, at 9 tonight? I don't think I have anything going on. Yeah, I might, sure. Maybe, uh, I should, right? It's a debate. That's what we do here, right? Supposedly. You don't know any people that write for CNN or other media in the USA? I don't really have personal relationships with any of these people, no. What's been going on lately? I've been working on the January 6th video. Um, the past like four days has been, I think we shot four episodes for Bridges. I think we've done, did we do three episodes for anything else? Uh, I recorded for probably seven or eight hours, stuff that I can't talk about, that'll hopefully release within a month or two. Um, and then I flew to, I guess, fucking Philadelphia. Um, Going on with the setup. Uh, oh, I, I bought a portable mic thing to use for uh, the election stream. I just wanted to test it today while I put together a computer. I don't know. Do I? Am I supposed to charge this battery? XLR doesn't deliver any power, right? We eventually release. Uh, will you eventually release the interview stuff? Yeah, after the um, the Israeli interview stuff. After the election season, we'll have way more time on our hands. <laughs> How do Phantom power mics? Oh, okay. Um, it can. Oh, do you think that you phantom power the Sennheiser wireless XLR plugin? That'd be kind of cute, I guess. When is the Bridges you film with J-Rick coming out? No clue. That was a lot, uh, it was quite a bit more tame. I'm gonna be honest, guys. I'm gonna be 100% straight up with you. Um, but the issue is that you'll have no idea if I'm being straight up, right? Isn't that kind of the point? I have no clue if that episode was a troll or not. I went back and forth wondering if any of this is like real or legitimate or I have absolutely no fucking idea. I started rewatching that afterwards with a friend and I was laughing so hard, it was so fucked up, but it, it maybe it wasn't funny actually. When I, <laughs> when he was screaming and me and Dan were just like kind of like laughing at each other. And then we immediately, we start like watching one of his YouTube videos for like two minutes while he's just sitting there. <laughs> I have, I have no idea if any of that was real or not. I have no idea. Why don't you just ask him? No, I don't want to ruin the bit. If it is a bit. And if it's not, he'll probably kill himself, so. Nah, he wouldn't do that. What were the vibes like after? Oh, I should have asked Dan. Dan went out to eat. I had to stay back and record stuff, so I didn't have time to. Okay, charging. This has a charging thing. Wait, does it? Am I getting lay epically trolled? Did Dan and him go out to eat together? I think they did, right? Oh, I see where this plugs in at. Have you ever seen Bosher vs. Breakdown? Nope! He reposted Dan's meme, so they must have been cool on some level. Or he was just memeing along after, so he didn't seem like he was left out of a jerk. I have no idea. 
I still can't believe that guy just admitted leaders should do legal things. You just let the courts work it out. I mean, that's basically what Trump was saying, right? Like, if you look at Trump's campaign, it's like it's a joke. Like, it's just insane. They just... The problem is that not only do they lie with impunity now, like with all the disaster aid relief, all of the, all, everything they're saying about this shit is just lies, right? So not only can they lie with impunity, they also um, have a, a, they've got like a media, um, a media operative basically now in the form of Elon Musk that helps them accelerate their lies too, right? Or amplify their lies as well. Um, yeah, they're just, it's, they're completely divorced from reality. It's insane. It's fucking insane. Phantom power is not for charging, it's just to get a volt difference for the microphone capsule. Well, thanks, Korean bronze. Oh, this is the full battery. Ugh, I can't believe this thing has to be charged. That's actually so cringe. What are your thoughts on Republican governors bootlicking Biden now that they need help? Um, I mean, they always do that, right? But I mean, Biden always gives help. Biden's a good man, dude. What a great guy. I almost shed a tear on the airplane because I was reading through, researching for talking points. And I saw that, like, somebody in the media was saying something along the... I think it was at, um... Roy Cooper? Fuck, I need to make sure I get this guy's name right. Yes. Um, the VOD quality is absurdly dog shit. Wait, what VOD? Somebody was asking him, like, hey, what's going on? Like, has Biden done anything or what's going on? And um, he was like, yeah, Biden called me yesterday, dude. <laughs> We're good. We're Gucci. On Patreon? Oh, I don't know anything about the... I don't know. I don't touch the Patreon at all. I have no idea. I don't know what the video quality is or how Patreon handles this shit or anything, so... I can't speak to that at all. I'm sorry. Did you see some of the destruction in North Carolina? Shit was absolutely insane. <sighs> um, yeah. So... It feels so cringe to say because somehow Republicans have gotten to call everything cringe. But, like... Wasn't the whole point of climate change, that we were going to start to see more extreme weather events, like moving further and further away from the equator, that it wasn't just going to be people in fucking Africa that got a little bit too hot, but that you would see more extreme weather events occurring as well? Hmm. Hmm. The flooding in 2016 was also really crazy. I don't know if this one is worse. I haven't watched or haven't kept up on this one at all. Um, but the in 2016, that was supposed to be like a one out of 10 or one out of a thousand or one out of 10,000 years of, uh, of rainfall. It was insane. If you were an Israeli, would you rather Trump or Kamala win the election and why? Kamala, because, well, it depends on what kind of Israeli you are. If you're a smart Israeli, you want Kamala because she actually has a coherent vision for world policy. Um, if you're a retarded Netanyahu, um, Judean Samaria simp fuck, you probably just want Trump because you think infinite power is like the salvation of Israel or some shit, so. Why is the Patreon broken and so many apps behind every other platform? Is it? It shouldn't be. I don't run anything having to do with the Patreon though. I don't have time to run everything, okay?
Biden has been very weak on Israel and Ukraine. To be fair, a good president would have been killing Russians inside of Ukraine for a few years at this point. Yeah, that's not really how the real world works, but sure. Okay. Wait, is this really only one microphone? There's no way. This thing was so expensive. I thought two mics came with this. Am I crazy? Jesus Christ. Or maybe this device can pair two microphones? Does it have two XLR outs? Huh. No, it doesn't. An XLR is, is, is only one channel of audio, huh? So I'm just, a fu I'm just fucking retarded, is what you're saying. This is an absurdly expensive wireless microphone. Holy shit. What the fuck? What? Okay, fine, all right. Okay, Sennheiser, I'm sorry. I wasn't familiar with your game. My bad. Jesus. This is a $1,000 portable microphone. This better fucking pick up my heartbeat. See Brandon Wu's tweet about democ uh, Democrats' approach to Iran? No, I don't know if I... I'll just kind of do my own thing right now. Josiah and Pisco are my... Those are my... And Loner Box. That's our political home right now. Or for me, at least. I don't co-sign anybody else. <laughs> oh, and maybe that Bri Brian Tyler Cohen guy. Does that come with a Sennheiser base station that can handle multiple signals? No, it doesn't! It just comes with this one little XLR plug-in. How did the Glenn Laurie combo go? <sighs> um, it went okay. A lot of it was about race. If you guys have tuned into the prior race arc, you're gonna hear a lot of the, just black people, you know. It's a rough life being black, it really is. <laughs> Holy shit. I do think it's funny, I can't quote him obviously, because it's cringe rap, and I'm not gonna quote a cringe rapper in front of an actual black person, okay? But um, it's funny that, you know, sometimes rappers will put like monologues at the end of albums and their last song or whatever. Um, but something that I thought was a, an interesting monologue from our favorite cringe rapper, Mortal Technique, is he does a little spiel on like black people moving out of the ghetto, and he talks about how in you know in ancient in black history, like poverty isn't something that is necessarily a part of the black experience. That doesn't have to be part of the black experience. And I thought it was interesting listening to um, listening to Glenn talk. It seemed very confusing that this guy is a an incredibly smart PhD economist, um, three of his colleagues won, you know, Nobel Prizes, uh, and then listening to him talk about, he just released a book where he kind of went over a lot of aspects of his life, um, just the crazy life that he had trying to kind of like stay true to uh, being black, but also being like a PhD, uh, fuck, did he, was he, did he go to Harvard? He's teaching at, I think, an Ivy League right now, um, Glenn Laurie. What brand t-shirt is this? All my t-shirts? I'm gonna be honest, okay? This is the last time I'm saying it, I'm banning it from stream, okay? It's Lululemon. Lululemon is the life hack, okay? Mid-tier brand for men, okay? All of their clothes are fucking Kino. This is a Lululemon shirt. This is a Lululemon heathered tee. This is just a great, it's a great clothing store for men, okay? There's a lot of like stuff that's like decent, you know? Any sense for quantity of threats coming at you lately? Um, it's kind of a lot. Is it cotton though? No, this is also, I don't know if I should feel bad about this because I've never thought about like environmental impact on my clothes because I just buy cheap shit from Walmart. All of this stuff is, is synthetic. It's, it's like heavily synthetic, uh, but I, I didn't realize this, but I really like synthetic, um, synthetic, like this poly, whatever clothing it is. I don't, I don't know how to, what the actual fabric is. Um, it doesn't wrinkle. When people say, um, 
when people say things like, oh, anti-wrinkle, whatever bullshit, I'm like, yeah, I'm sure. This stuff, it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't wrinkle. It feels really good. It feels really nice. Um, yeah, holy shit. It's so... Merino wool is better. Oh, I looked at some of that. That clothing is really expensive. I don't know how I feel about the looks of it, though. I do wear wool socks now, though. Okay. You got microphone. Can this be on while I'm charging? Wait, no shot. This really only charges two watts? That seems so stupid. Okay. What about Hutch and Econo Boy? Would you co-sign their views? Their live and learn podcast is pretty cool. Um, I don't have as much like personal experience with them. So I like am hesitant, but I will say I don't think I've ever heard Hutch or Econo Boy say something that I'm like, ooh, fuck, that's a big fuck up. I don't think I've ever heard either of them do anything like that before. So for what that's worth, I guess, yeah. Okay, well, we got fucked by this. I thought this was a two mic kit. It's not. Oh, somebody wanted the brand. It's an AVX MKE2 set dash four. That's a lot of like twos and fours and stuff. So I figured like, oh cool, it must be, I don't know why I just assumed that. I guess I'm just fucking retarded. Why do you never take pictures with your guests and put it on your Instagram? Um, oh, we should. We take pictures and put them on the wall with like a little Polaroid, but. CNN has to know about the Hassan Terror stuff, right? Or do they not? Unfortunately, I think a lot of those rooms are just very left-leaning now. Like, a lot of the people in there are just very left-leaning. So it's hard to get people to care as much about it. I'm sure they probably know. And they're like, eh, it's probably not the greatest thing in the world. But um, they just don't really care as much. What do you think of Biden saying he won't break the strike if that dipshit shore workers union takes the entire eastern seaboard hostage? I don't know anything about, um, I don't know anything about the strike. I can't, so I can't speak on it. Sorry. Oh my God. Did I just dump some shit on the phone? What is this mic set for or microphone for? Um, when we do the election stream, oh my God, I'm dropping shit. When we do the election stream night, we're going to have more than four people in here. So I'm trying to think of like, how do I want them all mic'd up? because I don't think I'm gonna, I can't like set mics up all over the room. So I was thinking of like having four wireless mics that I could just put on people. Those are older systems right now and they're in the lower end of digital systems. You might wanna try something like Deity, Theos, those are two. This is a lower end wireless microphone? Okay, I, I didn't see that anywhere on the internet that I was off reading at, but that's, that's a take, I guess. When you asked about specific DEI policies the guy mentioned and all he could mutter was something about you not being there in person was shameless. Yeah. Would it be worth having a backup corded mic that is handheld? Maybe. I'll care more about backups when I lose my first episode. Backups are kind of like a big meme, especially for an ordinary computer user or even like an advanced computer user. You don't really care about backups, uh, even though people tell you should, until you lose your first big project. And then after you lose a thing, you're like, okay. <laughs> Let's look into the backup thing, okay? Maybe we need to take this more seriously. So right now, I don't give a fuck. I'm just kidding, actually. Um, I have a decent amount of redundancy. I have three mics running here. When we record an episode of Bridges, there's three microphones here. I have all the mics on the cameras turned on. They're not great, but it's like salvageable, so people can at least hear what's being said. Um, and then I do a recording on the mixer. I do an audio recording in Audacity, and then I do an audio recording with OBS. Um, I've got the switcher running for Bridges, so OBS captures something, and then I record to all three cameras during a shoot, so I've got like a fair bit of redundancy. It's not like officialized or systemized yet, but... I'm trying to, um, I wanna learn how to use DaVinci a little bit, just so that I can start creating those proxy files. <sighs> because right now the files that are being spit out for this show are insane. It's like a terabyte of data per Bridges episode. 
check out the super chat. Why do Dems try to appease right wingers on Israel so much more easily than trying to consolidate the left? It seems to moderates the issue doesn't matter. Right wingers aren't voting them anyway, but the left may withhold votes to be punitive on Dems. No, you'd never try to appeal to illiberals. Stop thinking about it as left and right, okay? When you're thinking left to right, there are very, very, very few right people left. You have left are like the liberals and the Democrats, and right are like the liberal conservatives, like conservatives. That's a very, right now in society, the vast majority of um, Republicans are left. I'm sorry, the vast majority of Democrats are liberals, like in the Democratic Party, and um, and, and the vast majority of the Republican Party are illiberal. They're, they're MAGA people, right? MAGA people are not, like, democracy enjoying people. Same thing with communists and socialists. These are not people that you should ever be appealing to. Turn down the music. Wait, is it really, is it really loud? Sorry, I don't know if what I just said makes sense. Um, I hate that we use different words for liberals. Um, are you saving your whole recording on a storage server or are you relying on YouTube DVR? Uh, I do a local recording on my computer. I back that up to another drive, a solid or a hard a disk drive, and then I shoot it over onto Google Drive. And then every month when I'm feeling super brave, I delete everything that's a month old or longer. <laughs> it did, but can you explain it in a more concise way? Okay. There's a thing. Liberalism is somebody that believes in things like the Bill of Rights. We think that it's important to have freedom of speech, freedom of the press. We champion things like capitalism. Wait, hello? Was it even, was there even a thing? Hello? I don't know why my YouTube, like, I don't know why it does it. It does this upstairs, too. Just the YouTube stream went down? Yeah. I don't get, I never get any frame drops. Nothing is happening on OBS. It's just YouTube just, like, dips my stream for, like, two seconds. I have no idea why. Um, it doesn't happen on kick. What was I saying? Oh, okay. Liberalism. Big, okay, big thing, okay? Liberalism is basically this idea about, um, like freedom and democracy and capitalism, right? People should be able to buy and sell things as they please. People should be able to start businesses, hire workers. We should enjoy broadly concepts like freedom of speech, freedom of the press, um, the you know freedom of association. Like we can do these things. I don't know if I should say freedom of association actually, because libertarians use that to mean not being beholden to a state. Forget that part. Okay, but anyway, like stuff you find in the Bill of Rights, basically. As you veer further to the left and right, people mistakenly assume that socialist and communist are to the left of, in the United States, we call them Democrats. And then people mistakenly assume that like MAGA or, uh, or fascists are more to the right, okay? Um, but that's not really true. In my opinion, the left-right paradigm only works as long as we're talking about one coherent, like broad political ideology, which is liberalism. Communists and socialists are not liberals. They don't believe in things like um, multiple political parties or um, open speech or dialogue, right? This is why Hassan says things like we should put these people in re-education camps or why they would jail political enemies or why they champion the gulags, right? They don't want capitalists in society. They would ban things like private ownership and hiring employees because they see it as exploitative and they would ban it in their society. And then similarly, similarly when you go over to the right, um, and then you fall off the, the liberal paradigm on the right and you go to like the MAGA people or like fascists or authoritarians, they don't believe in a decentralized government. They don't believe in checks and balances. They want a dictator. They want a strong man. Um, they don't believe in, in, um, in, in like the freedom of the press, right? Donald Trump, the press is the enemy of the people. They don't believe in freedom of speech, you know? Uh, you want to sue everybody that, that you disagree with or you want to jail your political opponents. So I, I don't like saying that I just don't like putting these people on the same left and right paradigm. It doesn't make any sense. You should never be trying to appeal to illiberal people. Yeah. I would argue that you could believe in democracy and socialism at the same time. Is that not the case? Not, um, not really, but it, it, because of what socialism means today, that's kind of true. But, um, even, like, even in Europe, a lot of people use socialists as, like, government spending, which I thought was only an American thing, but... Even when I was in Sweden, people would say, like, oh, yeah, like, we believe, like, in socialist stuff here. And then they would talk about, like, yeah, like, we've got, like, free healthcare and stuff. And I'm like, okay. So, I, I, don't, I don't know.
This is a bit oversimplified. For example, anarchists believe in liberalism while not sharing economic beliefs. Well, but an anarchist probably believes... Um, uh, you're, get, you're hitting like really deep political philosophy that I'm just not studied in. But I would say foundationally, there's a fundamental difference between a society that believes in freedom of speech as a thing that naturally emerges from people that just exist with each other with no government versus somebody like a liberal who believes that freedom of speech is something to be protected by a federal government. I think that these two people are different. I don't know if you would call an anarchist like because they believe in freedom of speech, they're a liberal. I don't think they believe in it in the same way. But I could I could be wrong. I, I, I'm not, I guess I'm not like super well read into a ton of political philosophy. Do you think the right-wing attacks on walls being goofy, bumbling, incompetent, etc., are going to stick with moderates at all or do they just come off as desperate? I have no idea. One of the big problems with um, this MAGA shit is really bad. The more I think about it, like the more bad I realize everything is. The bad thing is that you got to realize that once Trump is gone, like these people are going to continue to exist in our country and they're going to continue to believe the crazy things they believe. And how is that going to filter down to their children, right? Like imagine right now, imagine 20 years from now, people are having kids or they already have kids and, and their kids are like going to school and the parents are talking to their kids like, okay, listen, today you're learning about way back in 2020 for the election. They're not going to tell you this in school, but in 2020, they actually stole the election from Donald Trump. He actually was the real winner of that election. They won't teach you that in the history class though, right? Like there's a whole bunch of stupid shit like that that could get, like, do you think that their opinions are all going to change on that? I have no idea. I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know what that's going to look like. I don't know what the course correction looks like. But the adults today came from somewhere, too. These people have always been in society. Um, as as American-hating as the Trumples that exist today, as anti-American, I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it will look like the complete 180 on the Iraq war. Maybe. Someone I play D&D with doesn't vax their kid now? Yeah, that's fucking wild to me, dude. Holy shit. I got three of these drives. Hopefully, if these cameras can write to these, I don't see any reason not to. Bro, you want to talk about all the upgrades they've made, like, in computer infrastructure recently? The upgrade they've made in, like, transfer speeds and data is fucking crazy. If your system is bottlenecked anywhere, though, you're completely fucked. This shit blew my fucking mind away. Although now I'm scared because I tried to write to this card, and somebody said that this card should have been writing a lot faster than I thought. 960 Pro, write speeds, NVMe. Oh no. Hmm. The speeds by the external are dictated by the enclosure. Wait, you think that this enclosure would be limiting my speed? There's no way, right? These are like $50 enclosures. M2 NVMe SSD enclosure, ROG Strix Arion. This shit. Do you enjoy doing all the behind the scenes tech slash setup stuff or is it kind of a chore you must do? Um, I think it's fun. I like learning about shit, fuck it. I haven't been liking computer shit in like a long time. Because um, I haven't built a computer and still except for the one I just recently did, so it's kind of interesting seeing everything. Speed is, it says 10 gigabits per second. Ooh, oh no. Is that for mobile recording? Well, right now I have to record to all three cameras for bridges to record like the high quality footage, but I, um, I don't know. Um, um, sorry, fuck, I'm reading messages in chat. I need to record on these for bridges, and I'm just trying to find a good thing to record to. I was using CFast cards before, but they're, CFast cards are annoying, and they're expensive, and they're very, like, um, can I say esoteric? They're, like, very niche. Like, nobody knows what the fuck a CFast card is, so I had to buy, like, readers for them and everything. So if I could just, like, record straight to an NVMe drive and then plug it right into the fucking computer, that would be kind of based. If it's really just liberals versus illiberals, then why do fascists hate communists so much? Well, once they're in power, they hate them. But I mean, fascists and communists, I mean, what do you think the Red-Brown Alliance means? <laughs> They'll work together to fight liberals, of course. 
Am I, am I fucking retarded? Hello? It hurts to say as a Bernie fan, but the 2016 primary now seems at least a touch as destructive to people's brains as Trump. The whole superdelegate, anti-establishment stuff fueled so much distrust in institutions. I don't know why it took until 2016 to happen, but it was a huge inflection point to populist rhetoric on both sides, unironically. Yeah, but unfortunately, the problem is nobody can engage. Um, the Brexit talking point wasn't random. Why did what? This message will literally live in your mind. Um, I, I actually won. Bernie was going to lose, superdelegate or not, okay? So people need to let go of that. Bernie was always going to lose, okay? Superdelegates or not, Bernie was always going to lose. Number one. Number two, <laughs> superdelegates, I think, are a good idea in concept, and they just don't work in practice because nobody in the United States has any appreciation or understanding for democratic systems. Um, the idea behind a superdelegate, funnily enough, is supposed to be... Is supposed to be to protect your party from choosing candidates that are destructive to the party. If Republicans use superdelegates, they wouldn't have had their party destroyed by Donald Trump, which it has been. So potentially, right? Superdelegates might be important to help you move a little bit um, in, a, in a direction, like let's say it's close between a guy who's clearly bad for your party versus a guy who's not. Superdelegates might have helped you avoid that. How can I not get this to go in? Am I, oh, I am, I'm fucking retarded. I wonder if you could set up an NAS with on your network to save your recordings to while streaming. Oh, um, I've thought about that, but what's the point of doing that versus um, just throwing everything on Google Drive? I don't see like a, a reason for that, other than um, also I don't like idea like I don't need people accessing my fucking network and show all the time. Fuck that. It's actually someone saying how many conservatives are pretending nothing is being done about the floods in North Carolina and they tie it back to Ukraine. Now the Kremlin talking about yeah, it's. Again, you don't have to deal with reality when reality is in the abstract. Most people don't live in North Carolina. Most people have no fucking idea. So, yeah, you know. I'm gonna try to transfer something from my com from my computer onto this and see if it goes at high speed. One second. Now I'm paranoid. Fuck. Well go like 750 megabytes per second, but that's like three times slower than what it should be, right? Maybe it's the front panel.
Hmm. 700 megabytes per second. Why? The point of an NAS is that August could download the files directly and said you have to upload a G drive first and only then can he upload, which is cuck. But the files go right from my computer onto Google Drive. I mean, what is... There's a middleman, but... 10 GB is 1250 megabyte per second. Wait, oh no, wait, did I read a transfer speed incorrectly? No, hold on. Wait, shut the fuck up. This is 10 gigabits per second. Which means it should move at at least at least one um, uh, eight and twenty and two hundred is twenty five twenty five one point is that one point two five gigabytes per second? That's plenty. That should be plenty. This is, so why is it only moving at seven hundred? Is the USB bus got other things going on? No. I'm just gonna blame the drive. We'll throw one of these nice nine uh, nine nineties in and we'll see if it works. Is it the cable? I mean, why would they have this is the cable that came with it, right? Oh shit. Do I transfer faster than that off of my CFast cards? Oh, because the CFast cards only write at five. Well, no, no, but the CFast cards can write quick enough. What am I doing? I'm just changing how we do storage on the cameras, and then I'm probably gonna build this computer. Where are you moving the files from? Because one GB is a standard bottleneck for most networks and PC ethernet ports. Well, it's transferring at 700 megabytes per second, which is almost five megabits per second, which is about half. There's not like some weird duplex thing or whatever, right? Did you address the Mooten thing? Oh, I, I don't know, listen, fuck me, okay. I think I was talking to Dan, and I was like, oh shit, it would be fucking awesome if we had Mooten on. And he's like, yeah, for sure. And then I think I, because I forget things, but I don't like message Aerodite immediately, I think I DM'd Aerodite, I was like, hey shit, you should ask Mooten if he wants to come on. And that's, that's all I thought about it. And then apparently that was like, I guess that was really offensive to Mooten, so I don't know. Fuck me. Right. Fuck, where's my phone? I think Kyla sent me pictures of their conversation, because I was curious. I wonder if, like... I wonder if Kyla said anything, like, really rude. Did they ever post the logs? Oh, wait, no, the NAS is just to save the raw files onto a separate computer. If you'd like to share it with August, you need to set it up so you get access to it through some file sharing software. Sure, but I could just, like, set it up on, um... What? There's no reason. You, I don't have a good reason to do this right now. Mood said she was offering a trip to Miami as an incentive to go. Um, that's not how I read those messages at all. But I mean, I don't know, we can, hold on, let me see if I can find the logs.
she, okay, th this is everything. It's like five messages. She messaged Moot and she said, hey, exclamation mark. Dan wanted to have you and Peach on anything else. When do you think we could bring you down? Uh, when do you think we could bring you both down to Miami? He said, um, I'm not really sure, LOL. We're in Portugal until mid-September. Why didn't Dan just DM me at Lameo? Erudite said, because I do a booking, LOL. And Mooten said, oh, it makes sense. And then she said, would you guys want to come down later in the year? Not sure what your work PTA looks like. And then Mooten said, let me talk about it. We've got one trip for family in December, October or November would probably be the best. And then he said, uh, I talked to Peach. I don't think we're interested. That was it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I... How do you differentiate the music you listen to on mass versus cognizant listening? I don't know, it depends on what I'm listening to music doing. Can you still get as excited about politics or streaming? Uh, I still like streaming. It's been weird taking a lot of days off recently, but... I see why he'd feel offended, to be honest. Y'all are what would be conventionally referred to as best friend, and having someone reach out to them instead of you personally would feel like you're little broing him, like you're too cool to reach out to him personally. I, I, listen, if somebody sees it that way, that's fine. I don't, I, whatever. I mean, like, I did a D&D episode with him. I thought it was super fun. Um, I, like, we haven't interacted at all because I'm banned from Twitch, and I don't know what he does in terms of, like, work or content now, so we haven't as many opportunities to, like, collab or anything. Um, we, like, don't chat at all. I, I mean, me or Dan could have reached out to him. That probably would have been, like, a more friendly thing to do, but honestly, I just wasn't even thinking about it. Um, for any, I don't think I've reached out personally to any guest. But I'm also thinking that, like, maybe I just assumed that Erudite and Mooten were also kind of, like, friendly, too. Like, I wouldn't think I would need to go over Erudite to message Mooten to know that... Because we assume that, like, Erudite is, like, an outsider. She's just, like, my, you know, my striped suit lawyer who's, like, doing, <laughs> you know, contract law or whatever. I don't know, yeah. But, I mean... You played D&D with him as if you were doing him a favor. No, not as in I was doing him a favor, but that in and I played it and I enjoyed it and it was legitimately fun and I don't think there was anything weird or whatever about that. I... Cause I do booking, that's kind of dry from NSC, no? Well, Mooten asked why she was reaching out and that's the reason why is because she's the one that books all the plane tickets and schedules um, all the shit. What's your progress so far on your scripting? And is there a date for a second screening? I don't think I'm gonna do a second screening. Or if I do, it'll be in between giving it to the editor. I don't know, bro, I hope I'm done with it tomorrow. I've had so much other shit that's been going on the past few days, between all the, anything else and all of the, um, um, Bridges episodes. Like I said, I think we filmed like four Bridges episodes the past few days. Fuck. Veto canceled on us? Oh, based. Are we trying to get the normal streaming schedule? Um, after the election, everything will be chill. After I get this J6 video to an editor, but I'm probably gonna, I imagine I'm gonna have to work with the editor a lot, like personally. Cause now, unfortunately, I'm like, now I have like, I got a lot of ideas in my head. This is like my patriotic duty to make this video and not suck shit. Not that it would suck shit, but. but one thing I need to do, um, one thing I need to do better is I haven't been good, probably because before I started Vivance, I've never, I just don't do big projects because I just don't have the attention span for it. Now that I can do big projects, I need to do a better job at like working on them a little bit. Cause now it feels like when I, this happened with the Israel stuff a little too. Now when I do a big project, I just want to like dump all my time into it. And it's really hard to just work on something for two hours a day, but I need to be able to do that. I think it's important. You did manifestos before Vivance, though? Um, the Bob Seven manifesto was done in about 12 hours. I stayed up all night working on that. Um, the Keffel's manifesto was two weeks of grinding after stream every single night, staying up for a night. Um, it was about two weeks, I think. Um, the Vosh manifesto... 
How long did that take? I don't remember how long that one took. That was a lot of writing. The N-Word Manifesto. That one was like one night too, I think, right? That was like a 12 hour binge. Seems like Vibance is just slowing you down. True, yeah. Did you and Glenn Laurie debate about anything? Cause it's right No, I kind of wanted to, um, I don't know what to do about Bridges when I bring on people that I disagree with. Cause I feel uncomfortable like debating them. I don't know how I should do that. Bro, I read more into the, um, I hit everything. I read more into the George Floyd shit. I would have gone way harder on that if I'd known. After having the argument with that one guy, um, and then going over a little bit on stream, I went over like the autopsy and everything. That dude definitely died to, to Chauvin. Not only did he definitely die because of um, Chauvin, it, it, like it's n reasonable minds cannot disagree on that. And anybody that says that he was having an overdose is totally misinformed on literally everything having to do with drugs, everything having to do with drugs being converted to active ingredients to your body. Like it's an impossibly stupid statement to make. Um, I wish, I wish I would have known more beforehand. God, I feel like everything is, fuck me. Okay, I'm gonna see if this records at speed. But this enclosure is too slow, I'm gonna be super triggered. There's no way that's the case, right? That would be so dumb. The fucking autopsy literally mentions that a fan addict would be fine with that level in their system. It was like, yeah, but it wasn't even so much that too. Um, like in your bloodstream, after you do fentanyl, it converts to, um, fuck, what am I looking for? Fentanyl converts to something else in your bloodstream and the majority of it had already been converted. Like it was clear he did it a while ago and he wasn't ODing, he wasn't dying. Um, Someone in chat will say it. I want to say norfentanyl. Oh, maybe that is it. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, it, th there's there's just no chance that he was having an overdose. It just doesn't make any sense. It's fucking retarded. This 960 Pro just sucks, maybe. Okay, I feel like, I feel like all forms of storage, the music is too loud for the background. Is it actually? Have you thought about shipping the CFast cards? No, fuck no, bro. I'm not gonna go to the fucking post office um, and mail cards. No, and never. Plus what if they, no, fuck all that. 